Hey guys, Dan the RBRT guy back with you today. Today we want to talk about our new extractor sockets. These are very unique. This is your last line of defense. Everything else is rounded it out. Nothing else is getting it out. Let's say you have a six point bolt that is just so rusted, rounded, compromised, nothing's going to get it. And you need to get it out. That's where our extractor sockets come in. So what we have here in front of us today is a cylinder head, obviously, and we're working on some on the studs of the cylinder head. Now, there's no need to explain that the stud is 100% rounded. It's a stud, right? And they're threaded into the head. So what we're going to do is we're going to bang our extractor sockets onto these, onto these studs and remove them from the head. Now, one of the great things about these extractor sockets is that bites in six different points of contact on whatever you're, you're hammering it down on. So the bite is absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. We've got our stud here. We're going to go ahead and take our extractor socket and pound it down on there. All right. Grab our ratchet. There's a little resistance there. Ah. Bro, she broke loose, and out she comes. Now, you couldn't do that with a turbo socket or a twist socket because those bad boys just chew. One of the neat things about our extractor socket is, is that not only can you loosen up with it, but you can tighten back down with it. It's multi-directional, so you, you, can, you can tighten down with it, you can loosen with it. Once these are locked in tight, they're locked in tight. So out comes that stud. We're going to get it out of there. And now, so once we've removed that bolt, the next hurdle is to try to get that out of there. So we've created this really neat little pusher rod that threads in through the back like so. And we'll grab our ratchet and that little pusher rod just forces it right out the bottom. Just like that. And now if you have a good look, you can see the indentation of where we bit down into that, okay? And guys, here's the really neat part about these extractor sockets, especially when you're working with threaded material like this stud. Because of the unique grooves that we put into it, it doesn't actually damage the thread. I can now take that and thread it right back down into the cylinder head. I just turned it upside down, as you can see, and put those grooves down in the cylinder head. And we are able to reinstall that into the cylinder head. And then I'll grab a hammer and just tap that down like that. And we'll tighten it down to the stopping point. And now we can use that little threaded rod to go ahead and pull it up off the stud. It does not damage those threads. You're able to reuse it. So now once I pull this off of there, pops it off. And now you can put your manifold back on there and put your nut down there and tighten it down and you're, you're good to go. So that's one really neat thing. But, you know, a lot of times with a cylinder head, you snap the stud off, right? So a lot of guys will say, hey, Dan, how much bite does that need? to get it out of there. Well, I'm going to show you. We've got about a quarter of an inch of a stud hanging out of a cylinder head. We'll bang it down on there. And let's see if we can get her out. It does not take a whole lot to bite down and get that out of there. And then once again, we can use our little threaded rod Put it in that one, and it'll push it right on out of there. So these things are, not only will they take out a 100% rounded bolt, but pretty much bite down on anything you can smash it down onto. And we'll just go ahead and force that little chunk of stud out of there. And there you go. And you can see how it bit down on there and got that out of there. 
So that's our new extractor sockets from RBRT, guys. It's all about the grip, not the slip. I'm going to be right back. We're going to do a six-point bolt. All right, so we're back here at the trusty old motorcycle engine from the junkyard, and I have stripped this out myself. And if you guys can zoom in on that and have a look, it's pretty rounded out. I mean, I, I did my best to strip that as best I could, and as you can see, there's no corners or shoulders left. So we've got our nice little trusty socket extractor there. Now, keep in mind, these bite in six different points. So the main difference between mine, like I was saying before, be between mine and a twist socket is a twist socket only goes to the left. And one of the major problems with a twist socket is, is if it doesn't grab and it slips, it chews the material off that bolt, makes the problem even worse. Mine don't chew. Mine don't slip. When you bang mine down onto a fastener that's been rounded out, it locks down tight in six different spots. That's why you're able to tighten with it as well as remove with it. So we're going to go ahead and take our extractor socket and bang it down on there. And we've got our ratchet here and we're going to go ahead and take that out of there. And out she comes. It bit down on there real well. And we'll remove that bolt, push your rod through the back. Grab it with some pliers. And just look at it, push that right out. Look how rounded off that is, that, that's destroyed. Now one of the great things about this is, is you can put this back down in there, right? Let's say you look around and you're, you're out in the field trying to repair a piece of equipment and you don't have a bolt that you can replace. You're going to have to reuse that old bolt. You don't want to down the equipment. So down goes the bolt. We bang our extractor socket back down on there. And look at that. I mean, I can tighten that down. I can shear that bolt off if I wanted to. It's locked in. It's not slipping off. Out comes there. Down goes the pusher rod. And that pusher rod will just pull it right up off of that fastener. And you can go ahead and send that vehicle or piece of equipment down the road, not have to down it. Maybe order a bolt and fix it later on. Point is, a lot more versatility. You know, guys, it's all about options. That's all your toolbox is, a big bunch of options. Extractor sockets can be your last line of defense. When nothing else is getting it out, you bang one of these bad boys down on, it'll take it out. It'll put it back in. That pusher rod just gives you a ton of versatility. So, you know, at RBRT, remember guys, we're all about the grip, not the slip. I'm Dan, the RBRT guy. We'll see you next video. Don't forget, subscribe, smash that bell so you know when I make a new video. Thanks very much.